church that night and sat down on the pew. And you should have seen the look of the congregation. She could feel their stares and hear the talk of the things that she had done. Because everybody knew her reputation. As the altar call was given, conviction gripped her heart. It was unlike anything she'd ever known. As she knelt to pray, she asked the Lord to wash her sin away. And she knew she'd found the place where she belonged. As time went by, everyone could see the change that God had made. Still others, they could not forget her past. To the ones who stood to question, how could God save one life? She just smiled and said, I'm glad you asked. The blood of Jesus cleanses every sin. There is no great or small. That same drop of blood He shed for you. He shed for one and all. There is nothing that the blood of Jesus cannot wash away. Never question the ability of the blood that flows from Calvary. I'm so thankful for the blood He shed for me. From the heart of an innocent child to the one who takes the life, there is nothing that His precious blood can. No great or small That same drop of blood He shed for you He shed for one and all There is nothing that The blood of Jesus Cannot wash away Never question the ability Of the blood that flows from Calvary I'm so thankful for the blood He shed for me. I'm so thankful for the blood of Calvary. I cover myself, my family, my pets, and my possessions with the blood of Jesus. Let the fire of God surround and protect my life from all destruction. Let the angel of the Lord encamp around me and protect me. Let your glory be my covering and protect my back. Hold me up. I will be safe. The name of Jesus is the strong tower which I am in right now, and I am safe. Lord, you make me dwell in safety. Set me in safety from them who puff up at me. Let me dwell in my land safely and increase my land. Bless me indeed, O Lord. Lead me safely and I will not fear. Let the sea overwhelm my enemies. Let me lie down and rest in safety. I will dwell in safety. Nothing shall make me afraid. Keep me as the apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow of your wing. I will trust in the covert of your wings. I am in the shadow of your wings and I trust you. Be my covert from the storm and from the rain. Be my covert... From the wind and the tempest, cover my head in the day of battle. Cover me with the shadow of your hand. Cover me with your feathers. Be my defense and my refuge. Defend and deliver me. Let your glory be my defense. Defend me from those who rise up against me. Lord, you are my shield and my hiding place. Lord, surround me with your shield of protection. Bring them down, O Lord, my shield. Let your truth be my shield. Lord, you are my sun and shield. Lord, you are my shield and exceeding great reward. I will not be afraid of 10,000 that have set themselves up against me because you are a shield for me. 
You are a strong tower from the enemy. No one has an arm like you, Lord, full of power and might. Lord, you have a mighty arm, your hand is strong, and your right hand is high, about to pimp slap some demons. Stretch out your arm and deliver me, and rid me out of all bondage. Let fear and dread fall upon the enemy by the greatness of your arm until I pass over. Favor me, and let your right arm bring me into my possession. Break Rahab in pieces, and scatter your enemies with your strong arm. Let your hand establish me, and let your arm strengthen me. Your right hand and your holy arm give me victory. Slow lightning down when it comes into my life, and show lightning down your arm against my enemies. I trust in your arm for my salvation. Awake, awake, and put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in the ancient days. Cut Rahab and wound the dragon. Destroy the dragon. Imprison the dragon. Make bare your holy arm in the sight of all nations, and let all flesh see your salvation. Show strength with your arm and scatter the proud. Reveal your arm unto me that I might know your strength and power. Let the power in your hands be released in my life. Lord, release your glorious power against the enemy. Let power and might be released from your hand. Scatter the enemy by your power. Let the power of your anger be released against the power of darkness. I have released the power and authority of the Lord against all demons I could ever encounter in the name of Jesus. I am delivered from the power of Satan unto God. Divide the sea and destroy the marine spirits through your power. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Cause the powers of darkness to submit to your power. Display your awesome power that men will believe. Release your power in healing and deliverance. Release your powerful voice. Let me be amazed at your power. Let great power be released through your apostles. Let signs, wonders, and miracles be released through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me preach and teach with demonstration of the Spirit and power. Let your power work in me. Release your powerful angels on my behalf to fight my battles in the heavens. Release the power of Elijah through your prophets. Let me be willing in the day of your power. Cause me to win souls. I cover my mind and thoughts with the blood of Jesus. I cover my doorpost and possessions with the blood of Jesus applied by the spiritual hyssop. I overcome the devil through the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus and receive multiplied grace and peace. I am made perfect through the blood of the everlasting covenant. I have boldness to enter into the presence of God through the blood. My conscience is purged from dead works to serve the living God through the blood of Jesus. I eat the body of Jesus and drink his blood. I have redemption through the blood of Jesus and I am redeemed from the power of evil. I rebuke all spirits of torment and fear because I have peace through the blood of Jesus. I receive the benefits of the new covenant through the blood of Jesus. I am 100% righteous and I am receiving all of the righteous' rewards. I receive healing and health through the blood of Jesus. By his stripes I was healed. I receive abundance and prosperity through the blood of Jesus. I receive deliverance through the blood of Jesus. I receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit and the anointing through the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus bears witness to my deliverance and salvation. The blood of Jesus cleanses me from all sin. Jesus resisted unto blood and his blood gives me victory. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of guilt Shame and condemnation through the blood of Jesus. I break the power of sin and iniquity in my life through the blood of Jesus. My heart is sprinkled and purified by the blood of Jesus from an evil conscience. I rebuke Satan, the accuser of the brethren, through the blood of Jesus. I command all my accusers to depart through the blood of Jesus. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of slander and accusation through the blood of Jesus. I release the voice of the blood against demons and evil spirits that would accuse and condemn me. Lord, teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Lord, I am your end times warrior. Use me as your weapon against the enemy. 
The weapons of my warfare are not carnal, but mighty through you to the pulling down of strongholds. Satan, you have lost the war in heaven. Let all the enemies that make war with the Lamb be destroyed and completely blotted out. I do not war after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Lord, thunder upon the enemy. Release your voice. Hail stones and coals of fire. Toy with them and then destroy them. O Lord God, send out your arrows and scatter them. Shoot out your light and discomfit them. Deliver me from my strong enemy, from them that are too strong for me. Deliver me and bring me into a large place. I am your battle axe and weapon of war. You have given me the necks of my enemies, and I will destroy them in the name of Jesus. I am your anointed, and you have given me great deliverance. I will beat them small as the dust, and cast them out as mire in the streets. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. I did not turn until they were consumed. I have wounded them. And they are not able to rise. They have fallen under my feet. I tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and dragon I trample underfoot. I tread upon serpents and scorpions and all over the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt me. I tread down the wicked. They are ashes under my feet. I will arise and thresh and beat the enemy into pieces. I rebuke every wild boar of the field in the name of Jesus I rebuke every spirit that creeps forth from the forest. I rebuke every beast from the forest that comes to devour because the devourer is rebuked and my favor has come. I rebuke every lion of the forest that comes to slay. I close the door to every demonic rat that would attempt to come into my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every thief that would try to steal my finances in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out any spirit that would try to steal my joy in the name of Jesus. I bind, expose, and cast out any demon that would try by stealth, undetected, to come into my life. Lord, cleanse my temple and drive out any thief from my life. Lord, lift up a standard against any flood the enemy would try to bring into my life. I bind and cast out all familiar spirits that would try to operate in my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any demon that would try to block my way in the name of Jesus. I remove all leaven of malice and wickedness from my life. I rebuke and cast out any frog-like spirit from my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke devils in high places in the name of Jesus. I break off any fellowship with devils through sin, the flesh, or sacrifice in the name of Jesus. I command all devils to leave my children in the name of Jesus. Lord, excuse any human devils in my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, expose any children of the devil that would try to come into the church. Let every spirit hiding from me be exposed in the name of Jesus. Let every hidden snare from my feet be exposed. I stand against and rebuke every wile of the devil. I release myself from any snare of the devil in the name of Jesus.